Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the history of the Senegal men's national soccer team. Pull up a seat, and let's start the discussion. Senegal is a country with a population of about 16.3 million people. It's located on the very western edge of Africa, slightly to the north. The Senegal National Soccer Federation is a member of CAF, which is the African Confederation in FIFA. The Senegal national team plays its home matches at the Stade Leopold Sedar Senghor Stadium. That is located in the city of Dakar and holds about 60,000 people. The Senegalese Football Federation, which is officially named the Fédération Sénégalaise de Football, or FSF, since French is the official language of Senegal, was officially founded in 1960. It joined the CAF Confederation in 1963 and officially joined FIFA in 1964. Information about the Federation's creation and history were really tough to find during our research, so if you have additional information, please let us know in the comment section below the video. The national team's nickname is Le Lion de la Taranga. That means the Lions of Taranga in French. Wild lions are found throughout Senegal and are fierce predators. That's where that part of the nickname comes from. And the Taranga part of the nickname is said to symbolize Senegal. Taranga is a word that kind of means hospitality, and it's the way Senegalese people treat their guests, which is something they're incredibly proud of. The FSF has a really cool crest representing Senegal. The colors of red, green, and yellow come from the national flag of Senegal. The green stars around the outside of the crest also come from the national flag, though the national flag only has one star. The Federation's official name is written in French around the outside of the circular crest. The lion in the middle of the crest is a reference to the national team's nickname of the Lions of Taranga. And the faint white paneling across the line represents a soccer ball, which is a reference to the sport that the Federation governs. It's definitely one of the coolest crests we've reviewed so far. The Lions of Taranga have appeared at two World Cup Finals tournaments, including the 2018 World Cup. Its best ever finish came in 2002 when the country made the quarterfinals of that tournament. And from a continental competition perspective, Senegal have participated in 14 African Cup of Nations tournaments. Its best ever finish at an African Cup of Nations was second place back in 2002. Senegal qualified for the 2018 World Cup by winning Group D of the final stage of African World Cup qualifying. It has been placed in Group H for the 2018 World Cup group stage. Senegal hasn't had a ton of historical success with international soccer. The team has only recently started to make a name for itself internationally in the 21st century, so I'm going to highlight three of the country's best historical players, but all of them are somewhat recent. El Hajj Jouf was likely the most talented player in Senegal's history. Jouf was the only Senegalese player ever to win the CAF African Footballer of the Year award. He won that in 2001 and 2002. He had a starring role for the Senegal team that reached the quarterfinals of the 2002 World Cup. He had a very controversial career and was pretty confrontational with teammates, managers, and opposing players, which didn't lend himself to being loved by everyone. But he's one of the best players ever produced by Senegal. And just teammate on that 2002 World Cup team is another player I wanted to mention here. Tony Silva was a goalkeeper and performed very well for Senegal at that tournament when they made the quarterfinals. He earned 83 caps in his career and spent the majority of his club career in France with AS Monaco and Lille. And the last player I wanted to mention here is Henry Camera. He had a somewhat journeyman career all over Europe and is still playing professionally at the age of 41. Camera may not have been the greatest player in Senegal's history, but he was also a part of that 2002 World Cup team and is Senegal's all-time appearance and goal-scoring record holder. And for the 2018 World Cup squad, the star player is going to be Sadio Mane. He is an attacker for Liverpool FC in England. He has blinding pace and can score with either foot. He'll look to carry Senegal's attacking workload at that tournament. And a breakout player to keep your eye on is Mbe Nyang, who is a 23-year-old center forward who plays for Torino in Italy. He's on loan there from his parent club, AC Milan, also in Italy. With defenses keying on stopping Mane, Nyang will be important to get a couple goals and help alleviate some of that burden that's placed on Mane. 
Senegal's main international rival is the Ivory Coast. The Ivory Coast is generally the favorite in matches between these teams, but the upstart Senegalese team has gotten a few important wins. Additionally, there have been multiple pitch invasions and crowd trouble at recent matches between these two teams, which has aided the fierceness of this rivalry. As we mentioned earlier in the video, the country's all-time record appearance holder is Henry Camera with 99 caps. The country's all-time record goal scorer is also Henry Camera with 29 goals. And one last interesting fact for you, Senegal is one of only two African teams to make a World Cup quarterfinals in history. The Taranga Lions made the quarterfinals in their debut tournament in 2002 when the World Cup was co-hosted in South Korea and Japan. We're recording this before the 2018 World Cup, just for reference. So there you have it, a bit of history on the Senegal men's national soccer team. If you have anything else to add to our discussion, please let us know in the comment section beneath the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!